AZ900 arguably is the most sought after certificate in Microsoft stack and that is undergoing changes and this surely impacts you in case you are preparing for AZ900 or maybe you have already scheduled the exam in coming days. In both the cases, this is a very important video for you. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. In today's video, I will tell you all that you need to know about the changes that are due on 28th of October 2022 in AZ900 exam. The questions that we are going to cover is how does that impact you? Should you continue with the exam or should you reschedule the exam? Then we will also cover how to prepare for the new changes. All these questions will be answered in next few minutes. So please stay around and watch the video very carefully so that you are not putting all your efforts in jeopardy. And friends, towards the end of the video, I will also share Microsoft documentation where you can read all about these changes. To begin with, let's find out if there are any changes on the major skill measure. And here, my friends, you can see the skills measured, both the existing or the current one and the one which are upcoming after 28th of October. Let's read each of them and compare side by side. The first skill measure that we have is described cloud concept and this is 25 to 30% in the current setup. And this skill measure is exactly the same in the new setup as well and it also holds the same percentage of exam weightage. Moving on, we have described Azure architecture and services. This one is 35 to 40% and this is also exactly the same in the new setup. Then we have the third one, which is described Azure management and governance, which is 30 to 35 percentage in the current setup. And this also stays exactly the same in the new setup. So this means there is no change on the skill measured level. So where exactly are the changes? Let's drill this down a little bit more to understand the changes. Now here I present the change log which is a kind of summary of all the changes. So first let's go through this and then we will understand each change with complete detail. Here you can see that we have two sections which are changed on 28th of October. The first one is describe the core architectural components of Azure and the second one is describe Azure identity access and security. And as you may have already noticed that all these changes are minor. But changes are there and you must know them. A small miss in preparation can cost you $99, which is the fees for Azure fundamentals. So let's continue and see the changes in more detail. The first section that is undergoing changes is describe the core architectural component of Azure. So first, let's read what we have currently in this section and then we will compare this with the upcoming changes. Here you can see the main skill measured is described Azure architecture and services which holds 35 to 40% in the exam. Then we have described core architectural components of Azure and this section here is divided further into subsections. The first section we have is described Azure regional, regional pairs and sovereign region. Then we have described availability zones Describe Azure data center. The fourth one is describe Azure resources and resource groups. The fifth one is describe subscription. Then we have described management group. And the last one here is describe the hierarchy of resource groups, subscriptions and management groups. Now let's see what exactly is changed. So here comes the section which tells you what exactly is going to change. Here in this section, you can see the skill measured is still the same. Also, the percentage is same. Then we have this section describe the core architectural components of Azure. This is also exactly the same. The section which has changed is this one, which I have marked in bold and blue letters. Here you can see that Microsoft in one sense has just renamed what it had earlier. So friends, as I see this, Microsoft has just rectified the section and now they are rightfully calling it Azure regions and region pairs instead of earlier calling them as Azure regional or regional pairs. So this does not impact the actual course content is just the rephrasing of the section. Moving on the next section where the changes are coming is this one describe Azure identity access and security. And once again, we will first read the current existing section and then we will compare that with the upcoming changes. 
Here it comes the current section. The skill measured under which this section comes is described Azure Architecture and Services, which holds up to 35 to 40%. And under this, we have one more section which says describe Azure Identity, Access and Security. Then we have all these subsections. Let me read them out very quickly. And it says describe directory services in Azure, including Azure Active Directory and Azure Active Directory domain services. Then we have described authentication methods in Azure, including single sign on multi-factor authentication and passwordless. Then we have described external identities and guest access in Azure. Following that, we have described Azure AD conditional access. Next, we have described Azure role based access control. And then we have described the concept of zero trust. The second last one is describe the purpose of defense in depth model. And lastly, we have described the purpose of Microsoft Defender for cloud. Now let's compare it with the upcoming changes. This time as well, I have marked the change section in these blue bold letters. Here you can see the first section is now being changed. Now it is called as Describe Directory Services in Azure, including Microsoft Azure Active Directory, part of Microsoft Entra and Azure Active Directory domain services. Then the next subsection which is undergoing change is this fourth one which says describe conditional access in Microsoft Azure Active Directory part of Microsoft Entra. So basically you can see that Microsoft has now incorporated the new service which is called Microsoft Entra. Now let's go to the Microsoft site so that I can show you the documentation where you can read and validate all this information directly from Microsoft. So this is the Microsoft documentation on exam AZ900, which is Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. The first section is candidate profile, which is exactly the same. There is no change in this section, but still, if you want to read and understand what is the candidate profile, then the link for this documentation is right there in the description box. Moving on, we have this important section, and this says that the English language version of this exam will be updated on October 28th, 2022 and you can also download the study guide in the tip box section this one here i will show you that in just a little while one more important thing that you must note that microsoft says that if a localized version of this exam is available it will be updated approximately eight weeks after this date which date we are talking about we are talking about october 28th this means that if you are giving this exam in any language other than the english language then the changes that we just went through will be be applicable to those localized version as well within eight weeks of time then moving on the passing score is also given so the passing score for az 900 is 700 which is kind of same for almost all the examination now let me show you the pdf file where you can verify all the information that i just shared with you here in this tip section you can read the first line that says download the az 900 study guide so click on this link and then you will reach to a pdf file this one here I will just zoom it a little and here you can read all the information that you must know about the changes coming up in AZ 900 and then you will also see the other interesting information like how to earn the certification and then you can also get to know what is your Microsoft learn profile what is the passing score and then you can also see the exam sandbox exam sandbox is a kind of an environment where you can practice all the labs given in the course content from Microsoft and cherry on the cake that this sandbox environment is absolutely free. Now let's scroll a little bit more then you will reach to a section where we can see all the changes that are upcoming. So then you will reach to a section which is called change log and this is the exact section that I also showed in my PPTs and here you can see all the changes that we just discussed. Link to this documentation is right there in the description box. So please feel free to come here Check this PDF file. In fact, I would strongly recommend that you download this PDF file as these PDF files are great asset whenever you're preparing for any Microsoft certification. Now let's check out the resources that can help you prepare for all these changes on AZ 900. Once again, I am on the same documentation. You need to scroll a little bit more and then you will reach to a section which will give you details on how to prepare for AZ 900. Here you can see that we have two ways to prepare. The first one is online, which is free. The second one is instructor led, which is a paid course. I personally would not recommend you to go for the instructor led for this fundamental course. The free one is more than enough.
Here you can see the entire course content from Microsoft. If you will click on any section, this will take you to another page. For example, this one here and here you can read all the subsection that comes under this skill measured. I strongly recommend the online free course. Here you will find the most updated course content from none other than Microsoft. Make sure to complete this course before you jump to any other resource. Once you have completed Microsoft online course, the second good resource would be a question and answer bank from the Tech Blackboard channel itself. And here friends, we have covered 326 questions in two videos, one of the most comprehensive courses on AZ900. Each video is full of exam tips and tricks, Microsoft documentation, practicals to help you all around in passing AZ900. Latest questions are added every now and then. So in case you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do it now to receive the timely notifications of all the updated Q&A videos on AZ900 and many other cloud exam series. We also have a full course on AZ900. This course is specially created for those who want to really understand the fundamentals of Azure and build a career in Microsoft Azure. Now let's talk about what should you do? Should you go for the new exam or should you give the exam if it is already scheduled? Well, as I see the changes are quite minor. So please do not stop yourself. Revise everything. Watch these two videos that I just showed you and give the exam. I wish you best of luck for your exam, but in case you are still preparing and you have some time for the exam, then please do consider the upcoming changes. Friends, if you or anyone you know is preparing for AZ104, then please note that AZ104 course content is also changed. I posted a video on the same just yesterday. Please watch that video and share it more and more with all your loved ones who are preparing for AZ104. The link is right there in the description box and in the i button on the top right corner. Not only that, we also have a question bank on AZ104. Here we have 190 questions that cover all the aspects of AZ104. On top of it, we also have a case study series on AZ104. So you can understand case studies as well, which are integral part of AZ104 exam. And in case you are preparing for any other fundamental series like DP900 or AI900, we have got you covered there as well. Here we have 80 questions on DP900. We also have 115 questions on AI900. More and more latest questions are coming up on both these exam certifications. I hope you now have understood well the changes coming up in AZ900. In case any questions still, ask me in the comment section or any other social media platform like Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. You can also email us at connect us at the rate the tech blackboard.com. In the end, friends, I just want to say that these are very important updates both on AZ900 and AZ104. So it's my request to you that please share this video more and more as many people around you, your family and friends would be doing both of these certificates. And remember, sharing is caring. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching. If this video has added any value in your learning, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning. Your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and I look forward for them. We will meet again in our next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.